Hi, I'm Angie. And I'm Scott. After creating and running a five-star bar in Southern California, we sold and hit the road in our Toy Hall and Tap House. Now we get to go and have fun and check out other people's bars, breweries with live music. So join us as we share our experiences with you by rating them and checking them out. Please like and subscribe and let's go inside. Check it out. Let's start off by telling you the vibe of this bar is a thumbs up. The upstairs bar and restaurant has a nice feel with a classy vintage decor. They also have cool merch and beer to go. Be sure to check out the downstairs bar and listen to live music on the patio while you sip another drink. Both the upper and lower bars have their own distinct vibe. Different, but both good. The brewer here has some pretty nice beers. We tried a red, blonde, and an IPA, and all were really good. They also have guest taps, so you're sure to find a beer you like. And if you're local, be sure to ask about their mug club. I like wine, good wine, and could be a bit of a snob. Plus, being previous bar owners, we know prices and don't like paying through the roof for wine. Here, they have a good wine list and reasonable prices. The same goes for whiskey. We both like good whiskey, and they deliver here as well. With a good spirit list, they can make some really nice specialty cocktails. So, the drink selection here gets a thumbs up. We tried a burger with fries, a salad, and some appetizers. All were really tasty. They have a full menu here with a really nice mix from bar food to upscale dining at fair prices. During the week from four to six, they also have a happy hour. We give the food here a thumbs up. As you can see, they are doing a great job at cleaning up between patrons. The bar top was clean and the floor behind the bar was clean. Even the entrance to the bathrooms as well as the bathrooms were clean. So we give the cleanliness of this bar a thumbs up. Now, on to entertainment downstairs at the tap bar. You'll have a great time here at Belfry Grill and Brewery. Our afternoon visit was a blast. We played pinball and other games with our friends. Plus, we really enjoyed the drinks while listening to live music on the patio. For the entertainment here, we give a thumbs up. Now, here's Angie with our customer service experience. So we just left Belfry Brewing. Now, on to customer service. This is a big deal for us. It starts from the moment you walk into a place until you leave. As we walked in and stood around a minute, we finally had to ask the hostess if it was self-seating, which it wasn't. Our food did come out at a normal pace, but we did have to get up to ask for an extra plate for a shared meal that we had ordered, and also had to ask someone for ketchup as our waitress never really even checked on us. So after we ate, then we went downstairs to the bar, which was pretty empty except for two employees behind the bar, and they were chatting with each other while we stood in front of them trying to order drinks. So, for customer service, we're going to give it a thumbs down here. It wasn't even busy or peak hours, so definitely should have been better. This bar does have a great vibe with three different patios and nice entertainment. It's clean with good food and a great drink selection. However, with customer service lacking, we give this bar an overall rating of 4.5. Please like and subscribe to follow us as we visit more breweries and bars with live music. Thanks for watching.